I'm just filming a quick episode on my phone so I can draw the winners of the Fall Shawl Knit Along Prize and to just have a little bit of an update for you to this week. Um, no full episode, unfortunately. Life's a little crazy. Work at a news organization is really busy right now when you are responsible for doing a lot of the planning for election coverage. Um, so, yeah. Oh, Gracie's joining me. Say hi, Grace. Hi. If you've been watching the podcast for a while, you will know that she likes to sit on the back of this chair. And I hope her bum is not visible. She loves to sit up there and look it out the back window. Sorry about that. Anyway, I don't have much knitting content for you because I've been pretty busy. So I wanted to share a couple things. But first, let's get to the, to the prize giveaway for the Fall Shawl Knit Along. I did a random.org number generator to determine the winners of a prize from the FO thread and a prize from the chatter thread. And I'll mention the chatter thread first. I have it on my laptop, which is right in front of me. I put into random.org post numbers 2 through 102 because I was the first post in the thread. And post number 56 was the winner and that's Rosie L who is Rosie in Iowa. So congrats Rosie. She in her post she was sharing an orange shawl that she knit as a gift for um, an educator she knows and it was really pretty. So congrats Rosie. Please send me a private message with your address and I will get your prize to you. Um, it was a couple little pouches um, and some stitch markers. And for the FO thread, kind of the grand prize, I put in post numbers 2 through 101. Um, again, I was post number 1. And post number 5 was the winner, and that was Knitting Mary B, who is Mary in Wisconsin. So congratulations, Mary. Um, she was knitting A Pure Joy by Hohi Locatelli. It's gorgeous. That was one of her two FOs in the thread. Mary, if you'll shoot me a private message with your address, I will get your project bag in the mail to you very soon. And I also wanted to share a little bit of exciting news with you guys. My brother and sister-in-law found out this week if they were having a boy or a girl, and I thought I would tell you guys by simply holding up some yarn. dun dun dun, dun! I bought some pink yarn! It's a girl! Even though I just went to SAF, I decided to treat myself to some girly, girly yarn when they told me the news on Tuesday. This is Lammy, Lammy Toes Shop by Amanda of Not A Podcast. This is her Moon Pie Merino base, and the colorway is Party Pony. It's a sock weight yarn. It's 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. It's super soft. I cannot wait to knit something out of it. I don't know if I'll use both skeins for a single sweater, if I'll knit a tiny sweater and then a matching hat. I just really wanted to buy some pink yarn to celebrate and this is just so fabulous. I really don't own a lot of bright pink yarn. This really is like Pepto-Bismol pink in all the right ways and there's yellow splashes and blue and hot pink speckles as well. So I love this yarn and I'm so excited to knit it up. So really that's the only update for you guys this week. I'm sorry it's a abbreviated episode, but I'm really hoping once the election's over, things will calm down a little bit for me and I'll get back to knitting more regularly. Take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye!